Hey everybody, welcome back and welcome to Brazil. We finally, 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 finally crossed the ocean. We found Laventa, we found Buenos Aires, and we found our first Brazilian city. Between episodes, I went ahead and looked at the religions again, and it looks like Brazil were the ones who founded Confucianism, but they're not even the dominant religion in their own country. <laughs> um, it seems like uh, the whoever the Confucius leader is, who I'm predicting is China, is probably fighting Brazil over the religion and winning and really weakening their religion. So just looking around here, is there any city here who's not religious? Okay, every single city on our entire continent is our religion. So the next big step then is to cross that over the ocean. So right now we're just moving some swordsmen through their territory just to scout them. And we're trying to move all kinds of religious units to the borders in an attempt to figure out where to colonize, uh, at least with our religion, that is. Uh yeah, so I was thinking actually, previous episode I said I probably don't need to settle, but now I'm thinking I might want to colonize a little on their continent. And the reason for that is I could put a city down there, I could use trade rights to get it growing quickly, get a, um... Oh, why am I forgetting the name? The, the Holy District for Russia. Get one on there because I can build them fast. Purchase a few religious buildings and start blasting missionaries and inquisitors out of that one city. That way they don't need to travel across the ocean. Honored to meet you. Exchange information on our capitals. Okay, so we know every country now. Okay, so Egypt is our main competition. Delegate? Yay! And, uh, you want to open up borders? Sweet. Okay, so she's already friendlier than, uh, than Pedro II. Right, so Queen of the Nile, she likes strong militaries, which, uh, yeah. I don't know if ours is considered strong? I mean, it's not small, but we're not building up more military than we have cities. Like, civilizations are not competing for great people. Uh, sorry, uh, both of these guys are actually gonna hate us. Because I know for a fact Pedro, by default, does not like having competition for great people. And we're gonna be getting great people faster than both of these. Politely decline once again. Alright, so neither of them are gonna like us very much. Whether they like us converting them or not, they're not gonna like that I'm making a lot more great people than them. Because they're not competing for cultural... Uh, for cultural great people at all. I'm the only one getting those, and that's three different types of great people that I'll be getting and they won't, and that'll surely be enough to annoy them. So, we just keep scouting them. Ooh, we could actually pick that up. Of, with, of all things, we might be picking that up with our missionary. Um, landing here is a little bit suicidal. Ah, you know what, I'll do it anyway. It's not like we're going to run low on faith. Um, I don't think that we need to faith purchase anything anywhere at the moment, either than, you know, missionaries and whatnot. Because uh, I, I think we have mosques everywhere that is able to get one at the moment. Oh yeah, we're, we're merely passing by. Now the game's really finicky about that merely passing by thing. Sometimes it'll think your troops are too close when they're in their own city's borders, which I think is ridiculous, and I hope that's on the patch notes. Uh, interestingly enough, um, we're close enough to launch still that you cannot, this is gonna sound crazy, you cannot rename cities. Apparently that's in the patch notes though for the next, uh, for the next patch. And it'll actually be the first patch, because the only patch they've done so far doesn't really count as a patch. The only download they've done on Steam so far is just, um, the soundtrack for people who own the so soundtrack like I do. Uh, builders. Keep getting builders. And you... Yeah, builders. <laughs> Gotta really up my game back home. I probably don't need need to, but I'd really like to. So we're going to. 
All right, there's another city. I hope that doesn't count as not being far enough away from their borders. There's a game. The game, again, the game is finicky about that. All right, I'm going to, like, go away from the coast a little bit as I go back up to circle back around here where I assume Egypt has more cities. I mean, it'd shock me if Egypt doesn't have a coastal city. Okay. Oh, we're now officially industrial era. We're really starting to breeze through things now. Uh, ingenuity of your great person has unlocked the idea of steam if power. Facts don't fit the theory. Change the facts. <laughs> Albert Einstein. Research agreements. So, right, how do they work in this game again? Uh, declared friends or alliance members. Research agreements allow two parties to jointly research a target technology. The more expensive the technology, the longer the agreement will take. At the duration of the agreement, each party earns a boost for that technology. That doesn't seem super useful, honestly. Uh, yeah. Let's just keep moving. Ooh, diamonds up there. And our Burke speed is not amazing. But there's not really much we can do about that. There's some technologies that help with that, but nothing that we really care about at the moment. Sanitation's nice because it gets the sewers, which is more housing, for something you just build in the city center. It's not reliant on some kind of special thing. We can purchase it with gold if we weren't so poor. Embarked units plus two movement for steam power. I want a gun for that early. Uh, four turns, and then two turns, three, four, eh. But you know what? Uh, did the thing again. We're gonna do that because we might be sending people across the ocean for a long time. Could settle a city right here. There's pearls, and really, I just want a spot on their con continent for the sake of pumping out great people. Or pumping out uh, missionaries, rather. And we're able to settle there. That's an eligible spot. Um, do I, I got the gold to just buy one right now, don't I? I will next turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll accept your delegate, but why did you say no to mine? Times have changed, and the era <laughs> of diplomatic delegations has passed. It is important that we now establish embassies with our friends and allies. Yep, <laughs> so that he spent the money on it in the next turn. Oh, uh, now we use embassies. A diplomat is a man who always remembers a woman's birthday, but never remembers her age. All right, uh, so that didn't make anything expire, so we'll go ahead and continue Confucianism. All right, so this is going to stir up some trouble when I do this. Wow. For a second, I thought Protestantism actually had that much control, but now it's Catholicism, which makes a lot more sense. I was going to say, how the hell did you get that kind of power over there? Okay, so let's just take a look over here. First of all, thank you for letting me make an embassy. So now I can see you're also an explorer. Tries to explore the map, and uh, like civilizations who have less explored than him. Well, I've explored a lot of the map, so I think you're going to hate my guts. Yeah, uh, relationship bonus. Don't like that we have stuff near his cities. Yeah, had troops on the borders, near cities, different governments. He really likes that we have an embassy, which is cool, and we got lucky and have a good first impression. Uh, I believe first impression is largely just a die roll, which is unfortunate. He's been denounced by Cleopatra. That's interesting, so they don't like each other. But they don't know of my warmongering. Let's talk to Cleo. No interest in him? Come on! Okay. So we we have less information on her now, even though we know that it's the great people is what she cares about. Yeah, those two so denounced each other. Um, as for relationship, bad first impression, different governments. She gets really mad about that and open borders. Okay. So neither of them have any idea I'm a warmonger. That's good to know. Well, I have no intention of going to war with them at least, uh, so they don't need to worry about that. Although I'm sure they'd think differently of me if they knew. Hmm. Yeah, so there's an active religious war going on here. We should probably settle those extra cities sometime soon. 
All right, we can actually purchase a settler here now. And I think I... Nope, we're slightly short once again, right? Because we did the the delegate, or rather the... Um... Oh, damn, what do they call it? Why am I forgetting? The embassy. We established the embassy. Kind of want to auto-explore, but then our idiot explorers are going to hang out adjacent to their borders constantly, and they'll get all mad at us, and then... Next thing you know it, they're declaring war on me. Yeah, kind of want to avoid the whole headache altogether. I almost feel like it's a bit of a waste of a time upgrading uh, the stuff around our country at this point. Which it really shouldn't feel like a waste. Uh, let's send you up there. It really shouldn't feel like a waste. I mean, it, it does pay off. However, are we gonna need it to win? Probably not. But I want to do it. So I'm gonna do it. And we probably should be buying more missionaries and stuff and just sending it over early. It's just I want to save up to, you know, mass produce them all at once. Can I settle up here? No, they must have a- yeah, there's a border right there. Okay. I'm thinking right here. Let's, uh, let's make a pin there. Just so I remember that that's the spot I'm interested in. Wow. They're not at war with each other, are they? Because that's... It's taking a lot of damage. I thought they're just denouncing each other. Yeah, they're not at war. Must be barbarians. God, he must have terrible barbarian defense. Os seus melhores engenheiros e arquitetos seriam mais felizes em um lugar onde pudessem crescer. No Brasil, por exemplo. I love that. Just the way he looks, the the fucking condescending nature of it. Oh god, how he tugs at his uh, metal and everything, like he's showing off. Oh god, I love it. They really outdid themselves with Pedro the Second. Such a good job. You see, you're the next place is gonna get an amphitheater. So that great writer can be over there. Okay, it's time we start getting our religion over there. Looks like their religion is actually getting more powerful, starting to fight back a little bit as they have Catholicism back as the majority over there. Rio de Janeiro. They're probably going to get mad and say we broke their promise. Uh, oh, Caravel selected. I want the missionary. Okay, there's another Egyptian city, and we found Yervin, which is a religious city-state. Unique bonus, your puzzle units can choose from any possible promotion instead of a random one? God, that's powerful, and once again, they don't require many delegates. Seems like the people over here have really been neglecting the city-states. Unless there are a lot of city-states inland that I haven't met yet that uh, are well taken care of. Perfect. And get a water wheel going. Get more food out of that rice. And I feel like we can, um... Ooh, barracks, though. Tempting. Get the art museum. And this is a coastal city, so walls are kind of tempting. Go take care of that. There's probably an encampment up here. Let's snip that in the bud. Trader. We don't need any more traders. We could work on a spy now, which really wouldn't hurt. But we need commerce right now to get more trade routes. God, I love that. The knuckle crack, the one-handed knuckle crack. He looks furious. You have more great people than they do. Yeah, I'm actually worried that when I start converting him, he might use that as uh, justification for a war. I'm going to have to be careful. Trying not to hang out on their borders too much. Because that'll definitely be justification for a war. Okay. Getting a little bit of scouting in here. So that was- this is just a missionary down here. I'm not really capable of overtaking any of these cities. I'm gonna need an Inquisitor for that. Just trying to figure out as much as I can around the coast. 
I'll probably just automate my sea-based exploration after that. Uh, you can fortify until healed for now. I just want him to wait until he has back up and stay safe. Hmm. Okay, we know all we can know from the west coast. And, uh, oh, Yervin has stiff competition. Never mind, I thought it didn't have stiff competition. Uh, Buenos Aires is so good, though. I did get that initial point with Yervin, though, just for the faith. It looks like there is, uh, some non-religious city up there, or at least we don't know the religion of it, perhaps. I think she likes my military. Yeah, it must be that she likes my military. Because she probably doesn't like that I must have more great people than her. Okay, well, we'll have protection for that city soon. Builder complete. Uh, I should have done this forever ago, but... Uh, oh, do you have a... Yeah, you have him here. Move. I'm stupid and should have bought that forever ago, and it absolutely slipped my mind. Also, embassy? Thank you! You finally accepted the embassy, which means you like me significantly more now. Although they're upset we have more great people than them. The embassy helps offset that a bit. Respect strong military. Yeah... Yeah, still unfriendly. But at least we have uh, open information about them. And we don't really have anywhere to put a district that I want to put one. Colossus is an extra trade route and a trade unit and it's gold. You know what? Do one. Do I need it? Not really, but I want one. Spy, we could start getting work on a spy, but I'd rather get Commerce District. Let's get that money flowing. Uh, it's telling me to make a mine here, but apparently I can't. Recommended mine, and mine is not available. Wait, is it, is it damaged? No, I, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. That's strange. Okay, well, this has no dominant religion, so we can just start using the missionary on that. Yep, don't know why it's uh, not giving me any options there. Okay, so I'm going to automate that caravel to just scout whatever now. And uh, our missionary here is just going to keep scouting around. Ooh, we actually lost a, uh, a swordsman there. I need to upgrade something. Okay, Settler. So I just want you to go here. But that has you going along the coast, which is a really poor idea. Are we already done the thing that gets us, uh, no, we're not done steam power. Start working towards that next. I should have done that sooner, to be honest. Alright, a war might break out soon. Okay, this place does not have a dominant religion right now. Boom! That's the first city that we have of our religion on the other continent. It's an Egyptian one. Missionary, keep trying for that. Because remember, we have a strong natural religious presence. If we can convert some cities, it will really worm our religion into their country. Just really start to drive a wedge in. And we're building up so much faith right now, 200 a turn. We're going to start spamming uh, apostles every turn. Apostles and... Uh, why am I blanking on the name? We're going to be spamming apostles every turn along with inquisitors. It'll be great. And I'm really trying to put down that barbarian threat in the north, by the way. I don't want that to become some big issue. Fortunately, our settler is going to take forever to get there. Okay, this is an Inquisitor. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay. Ah, they just took it over in front of me. They have missionaries on the other side. Keep trying. Oh, you're not welcome. You must remove them immediately. If it is God's will that your people believe in our ways, who am I to stop it? Okay. At least I was honest. I'm not going to get the penalty for lying. Okay, we're really not going to get our religion over there without sending some inquisitors. Ooh, she's immediately denouncing me. Not that that'll make, uh... You can one of their cities. Not that that'll make, uh... <laughs> Pedro hate me or anything, considering Pedro has denounced her. Civil engineering got a boost. And you actually need to heal. Okay. Vitka, what can you do? Get a barbarian control? Lame. I want all of the great people. That, uh, God. I love when it just whips my camera around to all kinds of weird places. Uh, keep trying. Well, it's, it's mostly, well, no, it, it's probably theirs. It's just our religion colors. Oh, no, mine's light blue, right? For a second, I thought it was green for some reason. Um, it's probably because I was playing a previous game where mine was green or something. Um, hmm. Commerce Hub. Because I want more trade routes. In fact, we can get another one. We just finished one here, so get a trader building. And get me a Commerce Hub down there as well. So we have Isaac Newton now. Um, you know what? I just want the quick science. And let's just upgrade more production tiles here, because they've got plenty of food, they need production. That's actually the problem with a lot of my cities. A lot of my cities have the food they need. Uh, production is their big problem. Okay. Builder, keep doing farms. I'm not really checking what my cities need. Uh, if this were a personal playthrough on a higher difficulty, I'd probably be Apart individually checking, like... The medicine, education, wine, public order, roads, the fresh water system, and public health. What have the Romans ever done for us? In a market economy, however, the individual has some possibility of escaping from the power of the state. Do we want triangular trade right now? I don't know, these builder bonuses is pretty good. You know what? I want the builder bonus for longer. We don't have many trade rights already done anyway. Yeah, anyway, we really need to start taking over the other continent, and to do that, we're probably really gonna need a settler. Because our, our, our travel time on a religion is just too long. Remove heresy. Why can't we remove heresy? Is it because we don't have any of our own religion natively there? That's probably why. Actually, can you remove heresy in enemy towns? Inquisitors might actually only be able to remove heresy in your own cities. I'm not sure. May eliminate the presence of other religions in their territory and initiate... Okay, so I can do theological combat but my Inquisitor is just for removing other people's religion in my area. Okay, I'm gonna bring my Inquisitor over to where I want this city to be then, so that if they try and convert it the second I land, I can do something about that. All right, we're taking Enlightenment to make sure that their tourism isn't a problem, not that they have any, but considering they all care about religion so much, they're probably gonna get some relics, and those are religious, so religious tourism is halved with um, with enlightenment to really just stamp out any possibility of a powerful, um, culture game from them. Or at least from their tourism becoming a problem for me. Nip that in the bud. And I'm actually thinking walls on all coastal cities because... They, uh, they're not gonna like me for very long. They already aren't thrilled about me. In fact, they've both denounced me. 
but yeah, I, yeah, I'm getting the feeling a navy might show up at my doorstep one day. Or, well, it wouldn't show up at my doorstep, it's a navy, it's on a boat. It would probably show up on my shores one day. At least we're really industrialized in the southern part of the country. Oh, lost a theological combat there. Okay, uh, and I just realized I had a quick combat on once again. Let's turn that off for you. I really need to start doing that between episodes. Just because this first playthrough, I don't want a quick combat. Just because everyone's still new to the game. And the animations are cool to see, at least once. It's just on my own time I play with quick combat turned on. All it does is speed up the animation. Uh, because believe me, when you're in big wars, that slows things down to a halt. We should probably get a spy soon, honestly. Uh, that's kind of a concern of mine. We have so many great artists of different kinds that I'm just not really using. Don't have an opportunity to. Life-giving water, natural to gods. Is contrary to nature is contrary to reason, and whatsoever is contrary to reason is absurd. Okay, this right here, liberal liberalism, can't get words out, is appealing. Now for military, uh, yeah, theological combat doesn't count under military, does it? I believe that's under economic for some reason. Um, yeah, theological combat here. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for the future, because we are likely switching to religious order at some point. So, next thing we are aiming for... Colonialism is, uh, maybe? I don't think we really need it, to be honest. I'd rather go for urbanization to help with housing, because our housing is not where it could be. There are definitely cities that need more homes to grow. And I could get them other ways, you know, we do have sanitation. But being able to build housing districts really speeds things up. Okay, so I'm actually gonna sleep that trader. Because we've almost got this city, and I want to send the traders to that city to help it grow as soon as possible. It needs production. And it's gonna need it badly and quickly. Okay, we need to explore up there. I completely forgot about that. In fact, I'm sure I can upgrade that unit. I really should do that. I should have sent a settler over there way sooner, too. I could already have things underway. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to move this guy back next organisms turn. Organisms don't think of CO2 as a poison. Plants and organisms that make shells, coral, think of it as a building block. Can't believe I didn't find that sooner. Yeah, you're you're coming back. As soon as the next turn happens. Oh, we're gonna get an early victory in this game. Would you look at the year 1120 AD? Then again, the religious war could take a long time, and I just don't know yet. I could be naive. Be nice to have some pearls over here, and we'll likely get some marble, and, uh, assuming no one else snatches it up first. Okay, uh, we're going to s uh, pass a turn on you. I was gonna sleep him, but it's only a few turns anyway. Next turn, we make our city. Housing. Yeah, see, this is why I want urbanization. We don't really have the money to go buying sewers, and I don't want to build sewers, because I want more districts. Alright. We've got our city now. So, traders, uh, I want you in the new city. Which is, uh, Smolensk. Got it. So we got pikemen up here now, much better than spearmen. And luckily we're against mounted units there. And you are the spare trader who can also go there. Uh, yeah, immediately get producing the Lavra. This is our best spot for, honestly, uh, yeah, just do it there. 
I don't like giving up on the three food tile immediately. But really, the city never needs to become too po too powerful. Um, apologies, I won't settle near you in the future, because this is probably the last city I'm settling. Perhaps the whole game, I might not even fill out the rest of my continent. Not greatly respect one's wishes. Uh, stock exchange, yeah, that's another upgrade from, like, bank. We're moving all of our traders here, because we need to get that thing up and running fast. I want as much production as I can get. And it's looking like the highest production. Uh, there's some good gold ones here from city states. But the highest production it looks like I can get is three. So, yeah, there. I have two three three trades. We'll do both of them. Oh, for a second I thought he was going to survive that. I was going to say, it's like pikemen on open land. How would you survive? All right, that's two good trade routes. Uh, get a market going. I want my money. We should also probably get entertainment districts. Brazil. A common mistake that people make when trying to design something completely foolproof is to underestimate the ingenuity of complete fools. Great quote. Right, Brazil is going to have a huge population probably, uh, which is very not. Hold on. Yeah, th right. That gets rid of that bonus. Um, if we do this, though, this is just a better version of the previous one. Now it's we build builders faster and they have the two extra builds. But I think it might actually be time that we want to take religious order instead. Okay, they have pikemen defending that, so we actually need to be careful. And we'll take the pure food one now. So this city is going to grow so quickly. It's already got one turn until growth. Perfect. And what great person did we just get? Another admiral? No one else is even trying to get admirals. Um, I could spend, um, 75 gold. That sucks. Um, military units get 50% more reward when plundering sea trade routes. I'm never gonna do that. Um, what's our other... I'm sorry, do I have two of Francis Drake? No, okay, I was just reselecting the same one over and over. Um... What's your retireability? One promotion to a military naval unit. That's fucking lame. <laughs> okay. Uh, these are both really, really, really astronomically lame. So I'm just gonna have him sail to- You're probably gonna get yourself killed on auto sail, aren't you? Manually go here. I just wanted to be in the other port just because you never know when I need him there. Okay, I actually need to bring up more military here. This is depressing. We're gonna have to bring Boudicca too, just to put down these barbarians. Which is, uh, insanely depressing that we're gonna need that, but we are gonna need it. Okay, uh, we got two publishing- Ah, they're trying to convert us already, the sons of bitches. We're trying to get, uh, we need to get that Inquisitor over there, right? Our Inquisitor was killed. Set up a colossus of 70 cubits high, representing the sun. The artist expended as much bronze in it as seemed likely to create a dearth in the mines. Awesome. People can have the model T in any color, so long as it's black. <laughs> I remember being taught that quote in high school. Right, so we have an extra trade route now. Um, I think now's pretty much a good time to end the episode. I just want to finish this turn so that I don't lose my train of thought. Although I'm likely recording more right after this. Alright, you might die, but finish him off. I'm just worried their pikemen are going to attack you. I just want their ranged unit dealt with. God, they already overtook my religion there, didn't they? Right, I'm sending every single trade route I have to that city to get it up and running. And I really want to make a spy. And what we're going to do is immediately make an Inquisitor. Over here we're going to make an Apostle. Over here we're going to make a Missionary. And a Missionary. 
And these are all going to go get sent straight here and start moving out from there. Laventa is already getting a lava going. Laventa. Why did I call it Laventa? It's not even close to that, but the name is all blocked up or I'd read it for you. Yeah, watermill complete. Um, holy site prayers for more faith. We really don't need more faith. Our faith production is insane. All right, next episode, we finally get our foothold in the other continent up and running. Until next time, have a nice day.